Hey everyone, and welcome to my new WordPress theme development series. This is gonna show an absolute beginner with WordPress how to create their own theme in WordPress. This will help you if you want to convert your existing static website to a WordPress website, or if you just want to know how WordPress works, this is perfect for you. The first thing we need to do when we set up a WordPress theme is we need to set up a solid local environment to do our development on. You don't want to be developing your theme on a live hosted server because it will just take ages to do. You need to upload your changes every single time via FTP and it's just going to take much longer to do a simple task. So in order to do that, we need to install some software on our computer that's going to run a server that will support WordPress. So for this series, I recommend we use something called Laragon. It's quite new and you've probably never heard of it, but Laragon makes it really simple to set up a website on WordPress. You can even use it for Laravel and that's where it got its name from, but it works perfectly with WordPress as well because what it does is it installs PHP, it installs the database, MySQL, it installs, um, uh, oh, I think, yeah, that's pretty much it. It installs a couple of other things as well, but th those are pretty much the things that we need for WordPress to work on our local machine. So to do that, what you wanna do is you wanna go into Google Chrome and you wanna just do a search. It doesn't have to be Google Chrome, it could be any browser. Um, just search for Laragon, L-A-R-A-G-O-N. Go to the Laragon website, click on download and in this series, I'm using Windows 10, so hopefully you are too. I'm not sure if it works on Mac, um, but um, there are some other programs you can use on Mac like LAMP. Um, you can also use something called XAMPP as well, but I don't wanna confuse you too much. So let's just set up Laragon so we can do this together and make an awesome theme. Okay, so if you click on download Laragon, that's gonna be the full version of uh, Laragon, and it will take you to SourceForge website, so we just need to wait for that to download onto our browser okay so it's 132 megs just wait for it to download and then we will install it cool I've downloaded Laragon so I'm just going to run Laragon here choose, choose your language next install it into C Laragon you can install it wherever you want obviously next the good thing about Laragon is that it does pretty URLs. So when you set up your WordPress environment on your local machine, you can access the local development or your WordPress website locally through your own local address. So it could be something like, you know, my WordPress website dot test or dot dev or whatever you wanted. So it's really handy. So we'll just hit next and we'll just go and install it and we'll wait for it to install on our PC. So essentially what Laragon does is it has a quick app menu and you can go into there, you can choose WordPress and you can easily create a WordPress installation with the database already set up on your machine within about a minute instead of manually downloading WordPress, unzipping it, etc. If you make a lot of websites, it can be really handy to do it this way. And that's one thing when you develop websites for a living, you always want to find ways to reduce the amount of time you spend on setting up your projects because you want to be developing projects instead of setting them up because that's how you make your money. So now that Laragon has been set up, we'll just click on finish. And as you can see, we come to this screen here. So first of all, we need to start the web server, okay? And as you can see, it starts Apache and it starts MySQL. And you'll notice here on the right hand side that it says auto virtual hosts on, okay? Which means that it's automatically gonna check if we create a project and then it's gonna create a pretty URL like I explained before. So the first thing we want to do is we wanna to go to the root folder and you'll notice that the root folder is C Laragon www. So that's kind of like the public HTML. All of your projects are gonna be in this folder. So if you wanted to create a new project, you could just create a new folder in here. But to make it easier, we're just gonna go into Laragon and we are gonna right click on this area here and we're going to do quick app WordPress. We're gonna call it a name, so we'll just call it uh, WordPress test. 
uh, I'll just call it test, I guess. Uh, lowercase test. And as you can see, Laragon is doing this all for us. It's downloading the latest version of WordPress. It's extracting it onto the web server. And then it's going to set up the database and set that up within WordPress as well. So we even bypass that, which is awesome. Um, and it also then generates a pretty URL. But you will notice that we will get a prompt asking us to accept something because it accesses something called the host file on our computer. So it's detected a new project. So as you can see down here, there's this shield here. We have to click on that and click on yes. And then what it's going to do is it will automatically set up the host file so we have that pretty URL. So now we can actually access WordPress through this URL, which is HTTP test dot test. So if we go into our browser and we just do HTTP test dot test, you'll see that WordPress comes up, the WordPress installation. So just click on continue, choose your language, click continue. And then you'll notice that it just asks you for the site title. Now this is a step, it's already bypassed the database step because Laragon has actually set that database up for you. Okay, so we're just gonna call this my WordPress theme. I'll put admin as the username and I'll just choose my password or leave it like that. I'll put my email address. And because we're working locally, you actually don't need to discourage search engines. That's because there's no way search engines can access your local machine and view this website. If you did do the other thing and work on your website on your web server, on a live web server, then you definitely want to discourage search engines unless you're happy with them indexing it whilst you're working on it. So we'll just click install WordPress. And uh, as I said before, it's bypassed the whole database setup. So now I'll just do admin and type in the password. And as you can see, WordPress is installed. I'll just do some tidying up here. This is, I typically do this when I set up a WordPress theme, so it's nice and clean. Uh, I'll also delete all of these plugins because we don't need them. I'll go into posts and I'll delete this word, hello world post as well and just trash it because we don't want that. And I'll remove the pages that are there as well because we, yeah, we want to start from scratch. We want it to be nice and simple. The last thing we want to do in here would be to go to settings and then go into reading. Uh, no, sorry, not reading. We want to go to general. Take away just another WordPress site. Change your time zone to the time zone that you're in or where your customer is that you're building the website for and hit save there. And then go to reading. Oh, no, not reading, sorry. Writing, oh, geez, where are we? Um, permalinks, my bad, I'm so sorry. Um, and we want to change the permalink structure to post name because that makes it SEO friendly. So if we go to the main site now, you'll notice that uh, nothing's found because we haven't got any pages or anything. So we just need to go to our pages and create one. We'll just call it home. Okay, and before we go any further, you'll notice we're using Gutenberg, which is the latest editor in WordPress. And, um, you know, some people like it, some people don't. I don't really like it myself. So what I typically do is go to plugins and I just download one called the Classic Editor plugin, which as you can see is has 5 million active installations. So that basically means that a lot of people don't like Gutenberg. Um, so we just install it. And what this plugin will do is bring the editor back to the classic way that WordPress always had it. And in my opinion, it's just much more simpler. So we'll activate that. And we'll go to pages now and we'll go add new. And as you can see, it's a classic version now. And we'll just call it home. You can call it whatever you want, but just call it home. Um, and then what you want to do is go back to settings and then go to reading. And as you can see in reading now, we have for your home page, if you want, when someone visits the website for the first time, they'll see your latest posts or they'll see a static page. So we want them to see a static page so that we can design our home page. So to do that, we just click a static page and then click on home, which is the page we just created and then click on save changes. So then you'll notice that if we go back to our site, 
that our home page is the first thing that loads in WordPress. Okay, so that's it. We've set up Laragon, which is a local web server. We've set up WordPress using Laragon, which took literally one minute to do. And we, we have set up our WordPress environment to start creating our own WordPress theme. So I look forward to see you in the next video and we'll get started then. Cheers.